When Moses was a young man, he would leave the palace every day. And he would carry the burden, literally carry the burden of his brethren. The Medrash says how he would get involved with making bricks. And how, if he saw that somebody was carrying a heavy burden, he would lift the burden, carry it himself. Or he would give it to someone who can handle it. He was involved with the details of the pain and anguish of his brethren. And because of that, God said, Moses, you left your position of royalty. I too will leave my usual position of communicating only with angels. And I will communicate directly with you. And then from that emerged the burning bush, God's communication with Moses, then and for the subsequent 40 years. What an eye-opener that it is our feeling and care and compassion that actually brings us closer to God. I'd like to share a Pesach story. There was a great rabbi, Akiva Eger, who had Pesach guests at his home, and and this was a very great privilege for people to be at this great rabbi's home. And the cups are filled with wine. And one of the guests asks, accidentally spills over his cup on the, on the this dark red wine on this beautiful white tablecloth. And immediately, the rabbi sees this. And immediately, to spare the person embarrassment, he bends down, shakes the table, knocks over, quickly knocks over his cup, and says, oh, there's something wrong with this table. The rabbi showed a, not only compassion, but this is on the top of his radar, the needs, the feelings, the sensitivity of the next person. As we celebrate the holiday of freedom this week, let us celebrate also the love and compassion that we must share for one another. And remember the lesson of Moses and the lesson of Rabbi Akiva Eger. On the top burner, the top of our minds and our hearts should be compassion for our fellow brethren. Have a fabulous rest of Pesach. Mm -hmm.